Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, preview performance updates in Adobe After Effects. Well, whenever we don't have to render something in After Effects, that's good. We want to be able to preview as much as possible. And of course, that usually depends on how much RAM and how much computing power your computer has. The new update for After Effects will now preview almost twice as long compared to previous versions. There is uh, improved caching behavior. There's improved performance. There's improvements on what happens when you stop a preview. Uh, does it keep playing the cached uh, uh, files or the cached frames or not? And does the playhead stop where it is or where you clicked? So all of those things are really important to make After Effects previews much snappier. Let's have a look. All right, first of all, I need to explain what's happening over on the right-hand side. This is a stacked panel, and what I wanna to try to do is open up uh, the preview section. And if I want to open up more than that, then you need to click on the flyout, go to the panel group, and turn off solo panels in stack. This way I can keep the info open and I can keep the preview open. You also need to open up preview to see all of these options. So if it's only showing that, it's gonna be confusing. So you wanna make sure that that is open all the way down. And you can see it's pretty darn self-explanatory. First of all, at the top, we've got controls for, just like before, going to the beginning, the end, one frame, or hitting play and looping. Um, but there's also this shortcut behavior right here. And We've got options for the space bar, uh, shift and space bar, number pad, shift and number pad, number pad, period, and alt and number pad. Get that. You'll also see below that whether you're going to be previewing audio or video instead of it being buried somewhere and overlays that you can turn on if you want, like guides. I love this one because instead of having to find where was that setting to shut audio off when I'm just trying to play this back, now you can easily turn that little audio speaker icon uh, off. So these are the default settings for pressing the space bar. It's not going to cache before playback, but it could. It's also going to be playing the work area extended by current time. So the space bar, if we move to this point here and I tap the space bar, it's from the current time and it's moving forward. It will not jump all the way back to the beginning. Okay, so that's what that one means play from current time or the start of range. And we're not skipping any frames and we're at auto resolution. And on the space bar stopped, move time to preview time. And it, it, we don't have caching off. So you'll notice that I started here, but when I hit the space bar, it stopped where it was. So that's the typical space bar play and stop. This is more just like video preview playing back. All right. What happens if we go to the next one, which is shift plus spacebar? Well, again, this plays the work area extended by current time. It also plays from the current time, doesn't skip any frames. Oh, if it's caching, it will play the cache frame. So I'm holding shift and tapping the spacebar and it's playing forward. And if I hit shift and spacebar, let's look over here in my timeline how much I've uh, cached, shift, space bar, you'll notice that it went back to where the play had started and continues to play that loop back. If I hit the space bar on its own, it's going to stop as if I've used space bar. So you can think of almost every single one of these settings as two settings. What happens when you start it? What happens when you stop it? Every single time you stop by hitting the space bar, it's going to be the same kind of space bar stop. It stops, the playhead stops exactly where you are. All right, next up, let's look at number pad zero. This is gonna play the whole work area now, not skip any frames, and if you hit the zero key again, caching will play the cached frames. So I hit the zero, and notice that the space bar is moved over to the left, it's red, it's following along, and it's starting to cache this. So this is like the RAM preview of before. If I hit the zero key again, 
it now goes back to the beginning and plays that range. Okay, so that's the number pad zero. There's also number uh, shift and number pad. And for this particular one, we're now skipping a frame and everything else is the same. So shift zero, much like the RAM preview shift zero before, you can see down at the bottom, I'm skipping every other uh, frame, shift zero, and it plays back. Space bar, and it's gonna stop, okay? Next up, let's look at audio. So here's number pad period. So in numpad, it's going to play only the audio. It's gonna play around the current time. And if you select enable that, you can change this. So if I change the pre-roll to five seconds, and instead of playing from the current time, playing for the start of the range, so now I'll tap the period number pad and you can see it started playing five seconds back and then 30 seconds on that pre-roll. If I go back and change that to one second, now wherever I am, tap the period key, it goes back one second and then plays. So that's changing it from current time to start of range. And then the alt numpad is also going to do audio only, play around the current time, and that one is gonna do the start of range, not skip any frames. And if you press that again, if it's caching, it will play any of those cached frames. And each one of these, so if you wanted to hit the space bar, if you select cache before playback, now when you tap this, you'll notice that it's going to cache that you can see right there, it's caching before it plays back, which is very much like the uh, RAM preview uh, option uh, in the past. And you probably want to keep that off um, for that. All right, so those are some of the big uh, performance preview improvements in After Effects. And you know, because you have the option of choosing any of those keyboard shortcuts and configuring them, you can really make anything configure like anything. So you could make the space bar work like the old RAM preview used to work uh, like. So, all right. Thanks again, everyone, for all of your wonderful support here on Video Revealed. We really do appreciate it. If you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, there's a special link in the description for you to get your free 30-day trial. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.